Today on the channel, we got the latest G.I. Joe Classified Series figure with the Amazon exclusive Cobra Eel. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got the latest and greatest. We got the Amazon exclusive Cobra Eel. But for all your non-Amazon exclusive G.I. Joe needs, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code 8 off DJC to save 8% off your entire order. Gotta get a deal out there. And honestly, probably the most iconic Cobra army builder that goes in the water. I think that's a fair assessment there. But the Cobra Eel, and all-timer, uh, one of the earlier Cobra army builders out there. And of course, G.I. Joe, land, sea, and air. You gotta have representation all over the place. Also, jungle, deserts, space, uh, sci-fi stuff. There, it goes on and on with the Joe brand, of course, as we do know. But the Cobra Eel, an all-timer, one that has a lot of memories back to the old school original G.I. Joe cartoon series, things like that. So very cool to get this one here. Of course, recently on the channel, we did unbox Torpedo. You got to have somebody for Torpedo to fight. Cobra Eel is going to be that guy. And it seems to be a lot of reuse between these two. And of course, we'll compare that later on in this video. But of course, we're also going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what's going on in the packaging here. Of course, the brand new classified series packaging. We've had it for a little while now. Really, really do feel like they found their stride in the packaging department, but we do know we're going back to uh, the plastic packaging here at the end of the year, early next year. Be interested to see what the next incarnation is of packaging design for the G.I. Joe team, but I do like this one. Shows the accessories up here, a little close glamour shot, a little glamour shot there, some Easter eggs in the background. One of the scariest episodes when I was a kid. Not really scary, but creepiest, we'll call it. But of course, those big old worms coming out of those stacks, man, that was the creepy sci-fi elements of G.I. Joe back in the day that I do love. I really do love classified logo. We know it. We love it by now. Four and up are the ages on this one. It does say plastic free packaging. Cobra Eel is number 81 in the line and we've been told we'll have figure 100 before 2023 is up. So stay tuned for that. Glamour shot going on there. QR code on this side. If you want to learn more about the Cobra Eel, you can do that right there. And then on the back, we got a little bit of a glamour shots going on there. Some jibber jabber at the bottom, the usual suspects. Nothing to really write home about. Nothing to really talk about on this one. Just kind of is what it is. It is what it is, is what we'll say. But let's get them out of the package. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And oh, there's always fuss about a new G.I. Joe figure. See you later. Especially by me. You guys know I love my Joes, that's for sure. We get the Cobra Eel Locker right here. Very cool thing. Great for dioramas. Great for army building. All that kind of fun stuff. Off to the races. See you later. Put some spin on it. How about a little Spider-Man style? Bam! See you later. Goodbye. And then we get the little baggie of fun. The baggie of fun in the Cobra logos with all the different accessories going on there. All kinds of different stuff. There it is. Uh, I always feel like, oh, there's more. I don't want to throw anything away. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. And then we get the cardboard prison for the eel. There he is, looking good. Of course, this is an army builder, and I did buy two for now. We'll see. Maybe they'll go on clearance. Maybe there'll be a deal down the line. But I did pick up two. Usually, my rule with army builders is three, so I probably need at least one more. Bam, see you later. Bam, see you later. Goodbye. And now we're down to the Cobra Eel right here. See you later again. All right, we're going to dive into that in a second here, but let's go through these accessories. What's going on with this guy here? And I guess first off, we get a knife. We get a nice black blade on the knife. We got the red handle here. I believe this might be the same that we got with Torpedo as well, but we do get a knife. Of course, you're underwater. You can't really use a gun all the time, so a knife is a perfect weapon for underwater, as we do know. So there's that. We do get the flippers here. All little flippers going on. Once again, I assume these are going to be reused from Torpedo. I guess I could just, instead of just talking about them, I might as well bring them into the conversation here. We got Torpedo here. Yes, the same exact flippers here, just all in black. Instead, this one does have some red on it. I guess I could check that.
that uh, knife out. Yep, same exact knife going on there. So Reuse City is going to be the name between these two, and it, it does make sense. And that's how the toy business does go, as we do know. But we do get two flippers here in black. Uh, definitely double as a stand. You don't need a stand for these guys. These flippers really help them stand, as we do know. Get the same exact weapon here. We get that uh, harpoon, I guess that's what that's called, a harpoon. Uh, definitely cool. I always loved these when I was a kid in my playing days. I would imagine people getting like close range, bam, get a harpoon and pull them in, almost like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat before he was a thing. Uh, but definitely love stuff like that. Uh, you got some of the rope kind of tied around there, all in black. You got the gold arrow on the end, arrow, where it is silver on the Joe side. And then you get the red down here, kind of the string. String? Sure, why not? String, rope, uh, whatever you want to call it. But definitely reuse from Torpedo once again. And we get down to the mask. Now, is the mask the same? No, the mask is different. So I'm definitely here for that. And then we do get the uh, oxygen tank on the back. And this seems to be different as well. There is some reuse, but not all the reuse with this one here. So we do get some differences. So definitely happy about that. You got, I guess this is the Cobra Eel logo on the back of this one. Uh, I guess that's what that is. It's a white logo on the back against the red backpack there. Looking really nice. Then you got the spot down here you plug the mask into, of course. Uh, boy, that looks a little hard to plug in. Let's see. No? Am I dreaming? Nope, never mind. I take that I take that all back. I'm not sure what you plug in here. We're figuring it out on the fly. You plug these into the side there, the tank at the top. But there is spots on the bottom with some holes, so I'm not sure exactly what that is for. I don't think I threw away anything, so maybe it's just there. Maybe it's just holes for the sake of holes. Everybody loves a hole. Yes, they do. Uh, but definitely an interesting backpack, but one you need. Of course, you're a scuba diver. You need to breathe underwater. Uh, definitely an important part of the puzzle here. So we do get that. And then finally, the mask, the helmet head. Uh, I got the two uh, pipe hoses coming off the side. You plug those in. Uh, big Cobra Eel mask going on. You get the visor in the front looking good. A little gold color, a little black, a little gray. A little Cobra Eel action is what you got right there. Now we dive into the Cobra Eel here. Very cool, very menacing eyes on this guy. I absolutely do like that. Uh, almost a ninja-like head on him. He's got the kind of wrapping around like Storm Shadow would have in, in some ways. But definitely cool here. You got a little bit of the face showing there. And like I said, a little bit of angry eyes on this guy, no doubt about it. Got the Cobra insignia right there on the chest. You know where his... Uh, his teammates are and where his uh, allies are. Uh, definitely a member of the Cobra team. We got some of the protective stuff on the shoulders, kind of around the uh, shoulders as well, the top shoulders, and uh, over there on the old delts as well. Got sculpted in uh, kind of, uh, I almost said loincloth. We're not talking He Man here, but sculpted in belt and all that fun stuff. Uh, a little red color against the black and the gray. Very iconic, very uh, reminiscent of the old school Real American Hero, three and three fourth Cobra Eel back in the day as well. Got a little bit of gizmos and gadgets there sculpted into the forearm on this one and you got pockets all around there and then of course you got a spot to store that knife down on his leg as well in case you need to uh besides that you got articulation you got some butterfly shoulders going on arms gonna go all the way around for us bicep cut double jointed painless elbows hits being played here at the table up and down hinge on the hand here he's got the trigger finger going on he's ready to go he's ready to blast somebody if he needs to uh you do got the ab crunch as usual head back forth side to side and then you also do get uh neck articulation so double articulation in the head and the neck big old splits for those eels if they need to you got to have it and then of course you got the drop down hips like we're accustomed to with gi joe classified you do get the thigh cut Double jointed, pinless knees, very tight there. Ankles back, forth, side, side. We also get an ankle boot cut going on there. How about that? We're here for that. Does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. And what do you know? Fits perfectly on that stand if need be. Definitely looking good there. And of course, you got to put the mask helmeted head on him. There it is. You can hide behind that mask if you want to. Definitely cool. My plan is probably display one with the mask on, one with the mask off, make it feel a little bit different from each other. But definitely iconic, definitely cool this one is right here. Happy to have this one in my collection. Uh, like I said, probably the number one underwater army builder. I, I think that is a fair assessment if there ever was one, right? Uh, definitely not the, the biggest fan of the underwater G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, Deep Six and Wetsuit were always my guys. Torpedo didn't do a lot for me. Uh, he kind of was what he was, I guess. I don't know. I was just always more of a wetsuit guy. I always liked that generation of Joes a little bit more. Maybe it was, I don't know. I don't know why, but I always liked the leatherneck, wetsuit, beachhead era, uh, probably the most of the time. And Serpentor, of course, and then all the way into the G.I. Joe movie, as we do know. 
Uh, but definitely a cool one here. Definitely an army builder. Definitely one that was stressing some people out. Some G.I. Joe anxiety as this sold out on Hasbro Pulse almost immediately. Amazon, though, coming through in a clutch right here. Supposed to be a September delivery. Then all of a sudden, bam, got moved up. Got moved up to a Saturday and then delivered Sunday morning. Love it when that happens. But our wallets hate it when that happens from time to time. It's tough when you're planning, okay, it's coming in September, I'll pay for it in September, then bam, it goes up four or five weeks, and here you are with Cobra Eel. It's a good day at the office, but hey, you got to pay that bill a little sooner than you thought. But definitely a fun day. Any day we get a brand new G.I. Joe classified figure here at the table. Not sure exactly what might be next. I guess we'll see. We do got a lot of figures to come throughout the rest of the year. I guess maybe the His Tank could be the next thing in our sights. Got to think we'll get something else before then, though. But man, a lot of good stuff to finish off 2023 in the G.I. Joe Classified brand. There's no doubt about it. A lot of good stuff to come here. And man, I'm here for it all day long. And twice on Sunday. So there you go. There's the old Cobra Eel Army Builder Supreme. What are your thoughts on this one? Pick up, pass. Did you pre-order from Amazon, Hasbro Pulse, or both? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. And don't forget about Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. All going on down over there on the old Patreon channel. And Patreon, your best way to support this very YouTube channel. And of course, you don't forget to follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter. Or I guess X now. X, Twitter, you know what I mean. Instagram threads the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Cobra Eel and Torpedo 2, I am Kyle, and I'll see you all real soon.